Hey, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the five most important things in terms of a get response beginner. What exactly it is you need to learn in order to utilize and maximize what it is that you're going to get out of this software tutorial. Now let's get into it. Hey guys, so get response 2018 has got a new layout and there is a different way that they're going about doing things and I absolutely love it. Now, I have gone away from get response in the past and I've come back to it multiple times because I'm always testing different tools and different tools fit different businesses. It really depends what it is that you want to do. But I'm telling you overall in terms of value and what it is that you actually have to do, get response is one of the best on the market, right? So I've come back to it recently and I really do miss using it and I'm so glad that I made that change. There are many little, little things that I really, really like and missed about get response that has really helped me improve, okay? So what I wanna talk about in this video is the five most important things that you need to start out knowing when it comes to getting started with get response. So in this particular tutorial, we are really gonna be going over for beginners. Um, for those of you who are probably like advanced and probably like a higher level intermediate, this is probably something that wouldn't interest you at all, so I wouldn't really waste my time. But for those of us who are getting started and we're trying to figure out how to utilize this tool, I'm gonna walk you through step by step what's most important, okay? Now, what's really, really cool is that Get, Get Response has figured this out themselves. They figured out what's most important and they've made it really, really easy for you to go about finding this sort of stuff. Now, let's get into the tool and let's start Let's start talking about what, I, what it is, I believe, is the most important things for you to focus on when you're starting out. So to start off with, the most important thing that they've actually figured out is in fact all these things that you've got right here in the quick actions bar. This was already loaded for me when I signed up, okay? Or when I signed back up, I should say. They've gone ahead and they put these different widgets here that you can actually chop and change depending on what you've actually got going on or what's more important to you. Now, I'm not saying the widgets are most important, no. What I'm saying is that the top five most important things are right here down the side, okay? So when you're starting out, if you're a brand new email marketer, then creating a form is the most important thing because without a form, you can't collect any leads. Without, um, uh, and with, without being able to collect any leads, there's no email marketing to be done, right? So pretty obvious one there, but it is highly important. Um, I will walk through these things uh, one thing at a time, just so that we can actually cover base on in terms of what it is that we're actually doing. So I'm just gonna click on these and bring them up and we'll go through them sort of one by one and how to go about doing it and so on and so forth. Now, if you're not new to email marketing and you are wanting to bring across your list from whatever responder you were using before, whether it's Aweber or MailChimp or then whatever the case may be for you, you can import your list using ad contacts, okay? And we will touch upon that shortly. But what I love is the fact that they've realized that it's the most important stuff and so they put it right there for you to go about utilizing. Now, when it comes to forms, this is how we actually create, this is how we actually gather the email addresses. Now, you can see here, they've all got name and email in there for a different reason. Now, when it comes to email, name and email, it's completely up to you how you wanna do it. Um, I've, I've heard that, uh, sorry, no, from my own personal tests, I have found that having just an email address has a higher opt-in rate, which is really what we're actually going for. And to, the names once upon a time were really, really important because people thought it was cool when you sent them an email and said, Hey, John, nice to see you. Hey, Michael, nice to hear from you. Hey, uh, Catherine, nice to hear from you. You know, like people enjoyed being uh, written to you. It felt more personal and therefore it had a higher open rate, higher click-through rate and so on and so forth. Nowadays, you know, 10 years later where this technology is no longer new, the name is not as important as it once used to be. Uh, but it does matter in terms of like how, how much higher your conversion rate is. Um, having just the email does actually make a big difference. So for me, I use only email. I don't use, I don't collect names, okay? Once people start responding to me and they start connecting with me on Facebook or through YouTube or whatever the case may be, the, the connection automatically happens in and I don't have to fake it slash fork it, uh, force it through an email, okay? But it's completely up to you how, you how you wanna do it. But basically a form is the way that people are actually going to sign up with you. This is not a landing page. We will talk about that later on. But this is what you actually use to connect um, in terms of your email uh, in, in terms of your email uh, list and um, your website or wherever it is that you're sending people to. Okay, it could be a landing page using GetResponse, which is another kick, um, which is another great option for you to be able to connect, uh, collect leads. You don't need a website to do email marketing, right? So you've got all different types of templates here and all different formats in terms of what layouts you may or may not want to have. Uh, you've got list builder apps, um, plain HTML and different integrations. So depending on whether you want to put it on 
Facebook or WordPress or, or anything else, you could create a specific form for that particular thing, okay? So this is probably one of the most important things. Um, I, I would say it's probably second most important. I think the most important thing is a landing page because if you don't, if you have a crappy landing page, you're not gonna you're not gonna land any clients, right? The forms at the end of the day, it could be a, a very very plain like this. Like majority of my forms uh, are, are, um, literally start from scratch with absolutely nothing in them. Um, so you could just have like a, a, a leave it blank type form is what I'm saying. So my mouse is malfunctioning here for some reason, but I'm just gonna close this out and we'll go on to the next uh, most important thing, which is to create an email, okay? Or create a newsletter. The, 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 new, the newer people of us, we, we, we say, oh, we're creating an email, we're sending out an email. Um, even I, I've been doing email marketing for probably eight years now, and I still call it an email, right? I don't call it a newsletter, because for me, I'm not sending out any news. Um, I'm, I'm writing you an email to connect with you, right? So it's very, very simple. You, once you want to create an, once you want to create a newsletter, this is how you you uh, send e uh, autoresponders on a daily basis. Okay, um, so I'm, I'm not going to put out any any sort of content in place here because I just want to show you the process. I've actually got another video tutorial on my channel that you can go ahead and check out with all my get response tutorials. Um, that actually shows you how to go about creating uh, newsletters, like the step by step through. So for me, I just I just like using blank. Um, I, I don't I don't need all the fancy stuff because I'm not in e-commerce or anything like that But if you are then you might want to look at, at, at those kinds of things And then I just drag a uh, drag and drop across exactly what I want to do. So this is my text I want to put in an image um, I want to put in some more text and then I, I might maybe I want to like add some some social sharing So for, for people to go ahead and be able to share my in my email newsletter um, I'll, I'll have that here and then once they click on this it goes to that particular platform and it shares out the exact content that I've put together Right, um, so that's some pretty powerful stuff uh, I don't I don't know a lot of people that actually share emails to be completely honest with you So I don't know how good of a uh, of a strategy that is um, but you can choose to apply that if that's what you want to do I think um, e-commerce, you know things like that. I think that would work really well in terms of like social sharing um, but mostly when, when you're doing like personal branding stuff, which is what I do when you're doing marketing stuff A lot of it isn't shared people read and they want to kind of keep that information themselves So what you can do here, um, this is the last part of it So you can just go ahead and schedule and you, you pick the exact date and the exact time and what frame you want to go by And whether you want perfect timing on that email address um, Which as you can see here it, um, it delivers your message when your recipients most likely to click and open this <clears throat> So this is a proprietary system. This perfect timing, I've used it and it's it's I've had very mixed results. Like it's worked really well and then it's been absolutely terrible. Because um, at the end of the day, like different people sign up to different things for different reasons. There isn't a specific time that they check emails, except for example, like when they're at work, right? Then they might actually check their their work emails as the very first thing that they do when they walk in the office. What I've found works a lot better is doing time travel. Time travel sends your email to in, to the exact place at the exact time that you choose. So for example, if I was to choose 8 a.m. Uh, time travel, then that would go to 8 a.m. everywhere in the world, right? So that people know that, oh, well, Sam always emails me at 8 a.m. So they become dependent on that. They, become, they actually come to expect it and your rates will start increasing the more and more consistent that you are with your timed emails. And I've found, and I'll, I'll probably be able to show this in another tutorial, the statistics and, and how important it's been to, to be able to do time travel and how much it's improved what it is that I'm actually doing. So what you'll find here is if you just click on this and then it'll go across all these different time zones to, to these exact people at 12.09, PM and it's, it's showing here if you pick the time in the past for some of these time zones It'll show that um, that won't work, but if you change it um, Then everything will be all good after that. So I'll just show this there you go now I've got 100% then you can schedule because you want everyone on your list to see the email right because that's um, That's your best chance of people actually uh, clicking through and reading what it is that you're, uh, you're sharing now another thing that's important here is the spam score and there'll be a different uh, tutorial on this on Helping you improve your spam score because if it's too high there are certain uh, all, all email addresses, whether it's at Yahoo, at Gmail, at Hotmail, they've all got certain thresholds for a spam score. You know, every word that you put in, every dollar sign, everything, everything is kind of calculated into their own algorithm. And each um, each uh, system has its own like allowability, right? Like some some of them might might allow a spam score of five. Some of them only allow a spam score of two. So if you send a two point four three, like in this case. Every, every email address, uh, say for example, let's just say for example it's Yahoo, and Yahoo turns around and says, well this is 2.43 and we are point, uh, we are two. So 
every single person on the Yahoo, every single person on your list that is with Yahoo, it'll go straight to the spam box, right? It'll go as junk mail because you haven't passed their score and they believe that what you're sending is just spam. And they're trying to get people to stay on their email um, service, not to get away from it. So that's why they actually do it, right? So, and that's basically creating an email. For me, this is probably um, the most important, like once you create a landing page, this is the most important thing to know and to do as a beginner. Um, so the reason I say this is because your emails are the whole point of having an email, um, having an, an email marketing platform in the first place, right? So obviously it's very, very important to know where it is and what to do and how to go about utilizing it. Now, um, so with regards to this one, this is just something that I was playing around with. This is actually choosing your template for your landing page. Now, when you're starting out, this is the most important thing. You create your form. Your form allows you to connect your landing page, which we're going through right now, and your email list, right? Which, it, which and there's already an automatic default one for get response, which is why I'm saying it's not the most important thing, but there's tutorials in that too, okay? Everything that I'm covering here, I will break down step by step on my channel. So I'm just touching upon the five most important things for you as a get response beginner, um, for you as an email marketing beginner, the most important things that you need to cover to make sure that you're doing it correctly and that you're being, you're able to maximize the results that you're getting from the efforts that you're putting forth, right? So. When it comes to creating a landing page, they've got a bunch of templates here that are already available for you to be able to use 100% without any worries of like, you know, copyright or anything like that. So depending on what you want to do, so they've got the general ones, sign up and registration, promotions, download, sales. So depending on what you might want to do, for example, if I want to offer a, a, a free download, I could click on this and then I'm looking at all of these and I'm going, okay, cool. I like this one. So I'm going to select this template and I'm just going to go test and I'll go use template. You give it a name so that you know what it is for you and how, and, and uh, so that when you wanna edit it in the future, you know exactly what it is that you're looking for. Now, here's what's really cool, um, is that they've got this, this option here. So this is a landing page, and then they've actually got a thank you page that you can go in and edit as well, which is really, really awesome to me. Highly professional. This is really cool stuff that email marketing platforms weren't doing in the past, and yet now they are. You're essentially able to build your own sales funnel using just get response, right? And as opposed to paying like $97 for a tool like ClickFunnels or $49 for a tool like Builder All. Now I'm not saying that get response has a better sales funnel, is a better sales funnel tool than those tools. No, that's what they specialize in. Of course, they're gonna dominate that, that space. But I'm telling you that for, for the price that you're paying, there is an unbelievable amount of value available in what get response offers you, okay? So if you're, if you're, th if you're looking here, so all you basically do, everything is like drag and drop, you know, it's, it's kind of, if you know how to use Microsoft Word or, you know, any, any of those sort of Microsoft programs, you are able to use these things. So if I go here and, I, and I'll just make some quick edits, um, just to show you exactly how to use, obviously it's not um, top marketing trends. Yeah, I'm in marketing, so I suppose I could use that. Enter your email. I'll just go to enter your uh, name, right? Enter your email address because I don't collect names anyways to get the full report. There you go, 2018 and the name part is gone. Bingo, there it is. And that looks really, really good. Um, and so once people, once people do download, then this is your part to be able to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this is your part where you go ahead and you edit your thank you page, which is, which is also important. Okay. I've got more training on this on my blog that you can go ahead and check out. And you want to, you want to obviously put a thank you, make, make it uh, downloadable right here. Um, you could, add, or you could have an email that goes straight to them with the downloadable option. And then what you want to put here is perhaps maybe a, a potential upsell, or you could uh, have them going to your website or your YouTube channel in my case, um, because that's where you want to push most people. You want people to consume more and more of your content. That's how they're going to become fans. Okay. So the next step here is to go ahead and edit the, the email as well, the, the, the mobile part as well, because you're probably thinking, well, hang on, is, is, isn't it just the same thing? No, because a website on a computer responds differently to a mobile phone, for example, like a smartphone. So you've got all the things here to edit here as well. But look, as, as you can see here, the changes have in fact been made already, but it's always good to come and check. I always do. Okay, now you've got a landing page. You go ahead and you get the, um, you can either get the HTML uh, if you want to, like right here, that so that you can put it into your website or you can get the, or you can get the actual, um, there's a, there will be a URL for this and you can use this as your actual landing page, right? So that's really, really cool. I, I have to be honest, like I'm pretty biased when it comes to this sort of stuff because I remember when once upon a time, I had to buy a software just for the landing page and then I had to have my email address and then I had to integrate the two together. And not only did I pay more than what I'm paying now for having these tools and more, but, but it got a lot worse in terms of like 
I, I had to do a lot more work, right? So I, I had to pay more and I had to do more for what is now is just, I could just do it with clicks, right? Very, very simple. Now, I spoke earlier on about how if, if you're not, uh, if you're brand new, then this is, part, this is a part that you'll want to skip. Go to the next section. Uh, but if you're someone who's already got an email list, obviously importing your list is important. So it's really just a matter of you can, you can upload the file, which is what I did as like an Excel sheet or you can do them one by one manually. So say for example, you're just starting out, you haven't even created a form, you haven't even created a list, but there are people who are interested in you and what you're doing and they're like, yep, here's my email address, please add me in. So you can just go ahead and put in the email address and name if, if it's required. Um, it's, it's required here because the list that this is connected to is requiring it, okay? But when you go ahead and create your own list, which I'll do in another training module, might even be available by the time you see this, um, then you can just go ahead and, and choose what it is that you say is required and what isn't, okay? Uh, so the fifth and final thing that's most important for beginners is an autoresponder. An autoresponder is what makes online marketing so appealing, um, uh, uh, beyond the ability to be able to scale your business, right? So if, the idea is that if you figure out how to make 10 grand, you've now you've also figured out how to make 100. It's just a matter of increasing what it is that you're doing. I'm not talking about more hours, I'm talking about more money, right? So say for example, you put in a thousand dollars of advertising and made 10 grand worth of profit. You can now technically put in 10 grand worth of advertising and make a hundred. Same amount of effort, different number, bingo. So autoresponders are one of the things that makes uh, online marketing so appealing because they can generate you money without you doing a single thing, right? So in other words, <clears throat> this is linked up to this list, but I could click any list I really wanted. And I could just go test and on day zero. Now the very first autoresponder you wanna create, you must have it on day zero. What day zero means is that the moment that they sign up, this for the first autoresponder is going to go according to the days and times that you pick, right? So it says here immediately or with a delay. If you click with a delay, see you can click hours. How many hours you want it to delay? So. Um, for me, I'll, I like to send it immediately because that's when they're most interested in what you're doing. Um, and with regards to days, I have all days available because I want people, I want autoresponders to go out on, on a, basically on a daily basis. Like I said, I don't want someone to sign up on like a Friday night, but because I've got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday untipped, they're not going to receive anything until Monday. That's ridiculous. They're going to find somebody else who's going to be able to deliver that thing immediately to them. So once you've done that, then you go ahead and you pick an email. Now, you need to create this email yourself, right? So th these are all the emails that I've, I've had before. I can click one of these as my autoresponder, or I can create a, um, or, or I can find one of my drafts. So essentially what you'd wanna do here is you'll create a draft and then you'll choose it, right? Um, as, as the actual template, if that's the way you wanna do it. The other way you, want, you can do it is you can just go ahead and create a new email. This is, this is where I find it kind of interesting. They, they call it an email here as part of the autoresponder, but in the previous one, they call it a newsletter. So anyways, so then you just go ahead and create it just like we, we walked through previously already, right? Um, and then once you're done, then you click save, uh, save until you build out the rest of your autoresponder. If this is good to go and you wanna publish it immediately, just click save and publish. And then what you'll find is the moment someone signed up, so if I click save and publish, and if two seconds later someone signs up, they're going to get that first um, autoresponder that actually goes out, right? So there you go. Those are the five most important things as a get response uh, tutorial for all the beginners out there. If you've got any questions at all about any five of these things, go ahead and comment below. In doing so, not only will I answer your question and help you out, but I'm gonna put you in my live drawer to go ahead and get my free training, right? My paid members only training that they pay up to 497 US dollars. Yours 100% free when I go live just by subscribing and commenting on this channel. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please do subscribe. If anything, do subscribe because I'm, gonna, I'm planning to release tutorials like this on a week to week basis so that you can continue to increase your email marketing knowledge and improve what it is that you're doing online to start generating more and more money, more and more awareness and so on and so forth. All right, so take care, much love, and I will see you in the next Get Response tutorial.